Hi, I'm Tom. This is Mina. And this is Kitty Help Desk. So today, I want to talk a little bit about over-grooming. Over-grooming is when a cat sort of latches on to a particular area of their body and they groom it and groom it and groom it as sort of a self-soothing method. If you watched a previous video about cystitis, you know that Miss Mina has been slightly over-grooming and that was one of the signs that told me that she had a problem because a lot of times they will over-groom an area where there's some internal pain and it can be a real indicator of where the pain is focused and help, you know, to sort of diagnose what's going on with them. If you'll permit me here for a minute, may I, may I show them? Here, let me turn her a little bit here. So if you'll look here on her abdomen, here, sit right this. If you can see, this area here has been kind of picked clean of hair and it's just growing back because she's, she's feeling better. Thank you, honey. She's feeling better and she's not over grooming that any longer. Sometimes you might not even notice it, but you notice that maybe they have more hairballs than usual. Mina doesn't often have hairballs, but she did have a couple recently when she was over grooming because she was ingesting more hair than she really should have um, or more than she normally would. So it's all cause for concern and your first reaction should be to work on enrichment. When a cat is at home and not, doesn't really have a well enriched environment, they can become bored and that boredom can turn into this self-soothing kind of mechanism. And you don't really want to stop them from, from doing this behavior. We want to treat the cause, not the symptom. We don't want to be like, no, don't do that, or distracting them when they're trying to do that. Because that behavior is serving a purpose in their life. It's making whatever's wrong feel better. So in the short term, we certainly want to allow them to continue to do it until we can sort out how to treat what's causing them to do it. So <clears throat> in a lot of cases, it's, it's caused by boredom and you can treat that by making sure they have everything they need. I have a, an article on my site. I'll link to it in the show notes below. <laughs> I've linked to it several times because I really feel like it's very important. I have an article about enrichment of your home for your cat. And really, it's all very simple, but it just means focusing on it. You want to make sure that they have plenty of window space to look out and see the world and kind of observe things going on outside. You want to make sure that they have sounds that they like. In Mina's case, <laughs> it's really strange and I can't even explain how I discovered this, but she likes harp music. And so I treated her boredom by buying some harp music and putting it on repeat all day long. And it actually worked. It actually alleviated her symptoms. She stopped over grooming, uh, adding cat videos on loop all day. There's some on YouTube that last, you know, eight hours, 10 hours, whatever. You can put that on the television all day for them to have like this sort of surrogate window on the world. If you don't have a lot of window space, um, you can treat this with play. You certainly want to make sure that you have multiple play sessions with your cat every day, but there are a lot of other things. I list them all in the, in the article. So check that out. Um, the other thing is to, you know, visit the vet because you want to make sure that there's not some kind of internal pain that this is indicating, you know, and, and most veterinarians, especially veterinarians that are well-versed in cats are going to be able to, with just sort of feeling the cat without even taking x-rays or anything, can often discern if something's wrong um, and can often figure out if there is genuine pain there and something that needs further diagnostic tools to, to figure out. So, you know, we all ought to take our cats to the vet at least once a year. And for seniors like Mina, she's 16 now, she ought to see the vet uh, twice a year. Just because if we don't catch something early enough in a senior, if we don't catch a malady before it's kind of run rampant in their system, we could lose them. 
So it's very important that they get the attention that they need from a, from a qualified physician at least twice a year so that those things can kind of be headed off at the pass. But overgrooming is is really no joke, and it's something that really deserves our attention and can help us to, to understand what's going on with our cats when they can't really come out and tell us. So thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.